everyone and welcome back to Mars for another action figure review. Today we have SH Figure Arts, the number one unpredictable ninja, Naruto Uzumaki, one of my favorite animes of all time. I have been there since it first aired on Toonami back in 2003, I believe. So yeah, big fan here. I never thought in the past 13 years or even now that I would be doing a figure review of Naruto especially this kid version of Naruto so this is basically a dream come true for me and I'm going to enjoy it now I know a lot of you collectors probably want this figure to be immaculate perfect and no blemishes no scratches the whole nine yards because of how much we cherish the anime well that's not going to happen unfortunately I do have one little um gripe with this release and we're going to get into all of that as you notice or as you can notice i did bring kakashi sensei kind of for a comparison purpose now let me first start off by recommending this figure this is a no-brainer if you're a fan of naruto especially the first um series of naruto then yes this is definitely a pickup you have a solid release here not a lot going wrong for this figure. This figure is damn near perfect and worth your money, worth your time and investment. So let's go ahead and get into this figure review. Taking a look at the overall aesthetic, Naruto, this figure looks so good and there's no denying it. SH Figure Arts, Tamashi Nations, always does a great job of bringing the character off the screen from the manga and putting it right into our hands and they absolutely nailed it again with Naruto Uzumaki now here is my one little gripe with this figure and it's this foot right here it's like a bit too flimsy and it actually comes off so if I'm gonna go stand it up here like straight up okay so you can kind of see what I mean how the heels are and the Achilles and things like that just doesn't look the best kind of the um, plastic is probably too soft and you can see how it kind of comes out like this and that's it that's like my only gripe with this figure That's all, that's like the only thing negative I can say. Okay. Now, this piece here is one solid piece. It's a plastic piece. And it kind of, it's loose, right? But the thing with this is that it's all like synchronized. It flows into each other. The paint from the upper body down to the lower body, it all flows, okay? Well, when you and then like the overall, you know, complexion of Naruto is much more, it's a brighter complexion. Now, when you come and bring Kakashi over here, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but this piece here that's loose, the green is not the same as the torso and the shoulder and things like that. It's not the same kind of green. So it's, it's lacking that consistency. All right. And then his overall skin complexion for me feels a, a bit muted. When you have these two side by side, you can see Naruto has a brighter complexion, but Kakashi, it's more muted. Not that it's like too dark. It's just not vibrant. So the coloring for Kakashi just isn't on par with Naruto. Naruto is just bright and vibrant where Kakashi is a little bit more dark and muted. So that's like my only little gripe here. I was going to do a review on Kakashi, but decided not to. Um, so yeah, that's why he's here for now. Going back into Naruto again, great looking figure. Do be careful because the head does come off very easily, which is pretty cool. Because I think with some Tamashii Nations or with some SH Figure Arts, the head does not come off. Um, if I'm wrong, 
comment below and let me know. So yeah, you know you get the head skull that can come off. And here he is here. Just be careful because his hair is very spiky and it's hard. Like you can probably see my finger where the holes are. So and you don't have to press down too hard to put the head back on. So yeah, there's your overall aesthetic looking damn good. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation. So Naruto can look up this much here. And he can look down this much here. Now this is not a soft plastic, it's a hard plastic. And I wonder how the figure would have turned out if it was a soft plastic. I wonder if that would have been the right move. If you come over here to Kakashi, these shoulder pads, it's like a, a soft, well, it's, it's a hard plastic, but it's kind of soft. It moves, in other words, it does move. Whereas the collar around here does not. It still works, but I will say because it's not a soft plastic, you don't get you know, his articulation in his head and neck would have been much greater, I feel like. Head can spin around. Oh, no, head cannot spin. Nope. The head cannot spin around. And the reason for that is because you have this collar that's a solid plastic. And then the hair that's back here as well. So you can see the neck can go here. But then even when you go to put the head on... You know, it, it just doesn't work. Okay, it just doesn't work. But the neck does move back and forth and side to side. The head does as well. Side to side. Okay. So going into the arms here. T-pose very easily. The articulation for Naruto is stellar, actually. T-pose. You have your butterfly joint there as well. You can drop down the arm, push it back in, rotate it all the way around. This piece here is a soft plastic, which is pretty cool. So it does move. He is double jointed. The wrist does rotate. Okay, and it hinges as well. Okay. And then you get your bicep swivel. So, you know, all the standard stuff, everything that you would want in a Naruto figure. Now, for torso, ab crunch, let's go ahead and see here. So, the tuck isn't the best for the upper torso. And then you go lean back. It's pretty decent. And then let's go ahead and get that full range here. So, you can see it's, it's pretty good, actually. Now, one thing that I will say, which is pretty cool, I don't know if this was intentional from the machinations or not, but you can pop the head off and almost like lay it on top. You see that? So here it is, and you just lay it on top. So you can get that pose of him doing like his Naruto running through the... Because you know when they run, they put their arms to their back. So you get that look there, see? So for those of you who are photographers, I'm sure you already know, but check it out. This is what you can do in Naruto. Which is pretty awesome if you think about it. Okay. So there's gonna be your max crunch, and then for leaning back. There you go. Awesome articulation. Now for the legs, you're gonna get that 90 degree, even above the 90. Look at that, good stuff. He is double jointed at the knees. Okay. Now be careful because when you hit that full, uh, the full bend, you're gonna have this gap right here. Now what I try to do is, is try to bend it more at the top, but even still, you're not going to get out of it. It's going to appear. Obviously, it's two different kind of oranges, which is really noticeable out here in the, in the sun. You can see it. So it goes from like that 
darker orange to a brighter orange to a darker orange. But that's how joints work. You get a leg swivel. The split is amazing. Check out the split. Very good. And then he can put his leg back pretty far as well. But you're going to get that gap. So be mindful of the gap. Let's see. Again, his whole leg at the bottom does rotate. As you can see here, all of it rotates. This does too. And you can actually, you can take this off. Oh yeah, you can take this off, and you can see like you can pretty much take the whole figure apart, really. So yeah, even this comes off. I think yeah, pretty crazy how that is now. And you put it back in. Okay, one second here. There it goes. Again, it's kind of flimsy. I don't know if it's because maybe I can take apart the whole figure and that's why it's like a, a softer plastic. So maybe why that's giving me that flimsy leg at the bottom. But it's not really noticeable unless you're looking for it or unless you're picking the figure up. So yeah, there is your articulation. Oh, I forgot to go over the feet. So his feet does extend out here. You have a toe pivot. Definitely got some rockers here. Very nice rockers. Very nice. Uh, can spin all the way around, of course. Yeah. So, that is your articulation for a Naruto. Very good. Aesthetically looks nice. Articulation is nice. Now we're going to get into the accessories. Overall, this is a great release from Tomashi Nations. So let's go ahead and get into the accessories. Okay, so we are going to get a total of five faceplates with Naruto. And that should be a standard. I wish that every figure came with that many options. That'd be awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have the head sculpt with the hair. And then, the, you know, the neutral faceplate looks very good. Very natural, very bright and vibrant. And then let's go ahead and keep going down here. So now we have the screaming faceplate. All looking good. Next up we have the grinning, happy, laughing Naruto. Probably my favorite faceplate with this release. Yes, sir. Nine tails. I kind of want to put Nezuko up against Naruto. So someone on Instagram, please do those photos. Buzz Mod, Nezuko up against Naruto. Uh... Nine tails. Now, with this head sculpt or the faceplate, you're going to get on the side like these little triangles for his hair. So you can see there. It's not going to be flushed up against the headband. For the most part, it is, but you may encounter like a little gap as you can see there. So just be mindful of that. Nonetheless, it still looks great. Now this faceplate, it's pretty cool. It reminds me of like, I don't know, the gorillas. If you knew who the gorillas are. Kind of gives me that vibe, in a sense. Great expression right here. And then that would do it for the faceplates. Again, uh, having five for Naruto is great dream come true really making this release overall better 
So let's get into the hands and then the rest of the accessories and then we'll finish it off. All right, now moving into the hands, you're going to get a total of five pairs of hands plus three unique hands. Again, overall great release. So let's go ahead and get into this. You're gonna come with your, one second. You're gonna come with your standard fist hands. And then next up, you're gonna get your Jinjiriki hands, AKA Nantel claw hands, and they look really good. Okay. Next up, you're going to be getting your open, relaxed hands. Here. Open, relaxed hands. And then let's see, what's that? Our, yeah, so our fourth set is going to be the Jiu Jitsu hands. Okay. Do some sexy clown jutsu. And then here we have our last pair of hands, which is going to be your Conan knife holding hands. So let's go ahead and get that out and show you how we do that. So, here's your Conan knife, nicely detailed. Okay, so you're going to remove this ring, like so. Then you get your Conan holding fist. Slide it in here to the bottom, like so. Get your ring. And then push it back in and there you go so that's how you do that now what i love with this release is that it is super easy to swap out the hands it's not always that case with sh figure arts so observe boom that's it easy peasy and you're going to get that with every hand i haven't encountered an issue yet where the hand would not go on. And then just take it off, easy peasy. So, let's now get into our three unique pairs of hands. First off, we have the Rodasangon hand. So let's go ahead and get the accessory. Again, Looking good, nicely done. Now we just line it up with the palm. And there you go. Just like that, bring over Naruto. Too breezy. And there you go. So there's the one unique hand. And then you have these two, which I'm not sure what they're for really. This may be actually for um, forming the Rasengan before it forms actually. So that's what this is for. And I guess if you had other Naruto figures, you could do like the clones making the Rasengan for them. And then you have this one here, which I'm not sure exactly what the um, purpose of this hand is for, but nonetheless, it's still, you're getting five pairs of hands plus three unique hands, and then two special effect pieces. So overall, like, this whole release of Naruto has been stellar, perfectly done from Tamashi's. So let's go ahead and get into the conclusion. All right, everyone, to conclude this review, Naruto, the number one unpredictable ninja, is definitely worth a pickup. Coming in at about $35 to $45, when you consider the face plates, the pairs of hands, the accessories that you get with this figure, 
I mean, it's a solid release from Tomashi Nations, and it's definitely worth picking up. I, I honestly don't see why you wouldn't pick this figure up. That's how good of a figure this is. So comment below and let me know, again, what was your favorite Naruto opening growing up? Um, are you planning on getting this figure? And are you excited about the new reveals coming out? We have a reveal coming out later this week who a lot of people are speculating is going to be Obito Uchiha, which would be awesome. And then we have another one in July. Now for July, I'm expecting... Atachi or Madara or Minato. Those are the three characters I'm expecting in July. Atachi and Minato because those were the top two 100 characters, you know, just recently voted. So a lot of good stuff is going to come from this line. This is going to be a popular line, probably as popular as Dragon Ball Z. Honestly, there may be even more fans of Naruto than there are Dragon Ball Z at this point. Especially for the like, Kid Naruto series and then Shippuden series. Like Naruto has a lot of characters to go into. I personally want the first Hokage and the second Hokage. Those would be grails for me. So hopefully we get those releases. I've hoped you've enjoyed this review. I hope you've enjoyed the nature, the water flowing in the background and the birds chirping just everything that we have to offer here thanks for watching and we will catch you next time peace i hope you've enjoyed your time here on mars if you enjoyed the video consider subscribing and if you like check out my playlist relating to the toy line thank you again and i look forward to seeing you soon